Hey folks, welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's Tools, Tips, and Talk, where I'll talk about info for the knife maker. Since the Gyoto Challenge launched, got quite a few new subscribers, so I figured I would describe a little bit about the channel so you guys understand what's going on. So, Thursday videos, these, the Triple T's, are more focused at the maker, and that's where I'll provide tips, and I'll just talk about random things, and it's a lot of me talking on the camera. Uh, the Sunday builds, typically on Sunday, those are the build videos where I'm actually working on a project and you'll see me doing things on a project. Uh, so just so you know when to, you know, choose what to tune in and what you want to, uh, to watch. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about Blade Show, uh, my first Blade Show and what it was like going, some of the stuff that I picked up there, people I talked to, um, and just generally about that event. So I met a lot of great people there. Um, saw, you know, just the notable people that I saw: Jay Nielsen, uh, David Baker, um, uh, Neil Kamamura was there. Jason Knight was there. Like all kinds of guys were there. Um, met, met John Norwood from uh, um, Old Hickory Forge. Uh, Brian House got a chance to talk with Brian for quite a while and chatted. Really, really cool guy and. Uh, uh, if you haven't checked out, I can't imagine you haven't, but if you haven't checked out Brian's channel, he's part of the Gyoto Challenge as well, go check him out. Um, and he's helped me a lot, um, you know, pushing people towards this channel, so I appreciate him quite a bit. Uh, but really, really fantastic time meeting people and talking with other makers and just looking at what was on the tables and chatting about process and techniques and stuff and uh, showed my knives, both the 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 Gyoto Chef Knife and the uh, Damascus Bowie to a bunch of people and got some good feedback on that. And uh, one new technique that I'm going to try um, based around etching and uh, etching Damascus, which is something I've, I wouldn't say I've struggled with, but still trying to perfect. So a technique I want to try there. So you'll see that in an upcoming Triple T. So um, I picked up a lot of material while I was there just I love to amass, especially handle material. So let's go down to the table and I'll show you what I bought at Blade. So of course, a Blade magazine. These were free hit the show. Um, Neil Camomoro was on the front, um, which I thought was cool. So if you don't know already, I love handle material. I pretty much am a collector um, of just handle material, which I will use on knives at some point. Um, some of the first guys I talked to were the Broadback guys and went and looked at, you know, the grinders and talked to Ryan and Vince and um, they're selling belts now. So uh, I picked up a couple of their 36 belts, 36 grit belts. Might do a video on, uh, on these guys, see how they perform uh, compared to the belts that I currently use. I was thinking about actually picking up some belts from uh, a couple different um, of, the, of the suppliers and just doing a a belt off so we'll see maybe I'll do a video on that um, so some belts some things that I've never used which is um, some natural animal material like antler so I wanted to pick up a couple of crowned stag antlers for some bowies because um, I do like that if it's really nicely shaped um, that kind of um, you know with the the butt being the crown of the antler so looking forward to those um, you'll see those at some point um, let's talk about these two because these two are the most expensive pieces that I bought at the show this is some mammoth molar uh, I think I'm going to use this one on the knife that I'm working on right now and I'll show you in a little bit so um, I think that'll go well this one you can see from the price tag is a pretty expensive piece but it's beautiful it's really heavy though this feels like a piece of stone so it's gonna have to go on a pretty big knife just to balance that out but it's beautiful stuff so anxious to use that um, some other stuff I just picked up this combo scale uh, with resin in the center I think that'll look nice on a knife these guys that I'm really really excited about um, this is Box Elder, um, dyed a couple different colors. I love Box Elder. I love the way it looks. So, um, yeah, really, really cool stuff. And, I, and 
I love the exotic colors, so I think this will look really nice. This orange came from the same supplier. Um, just really, really cool. So anxious to use that stuff. Now on to um, a couple of these. I think this one and this one were from the same manufacturer. Um, yeah, J. Hugh Customs. Um, this has, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, has actually sheets of copper in it with resin. And uh, I saw this shined up on a knife that they had on display and it looks amazing. Uh, and this is a block. So anxious to see what this is going to look like on a knife. So really, really cool material. Um, it'll look really cool with some copper pins. So hopefully you guys can see that. that's in focus so really nice stuff um, another one you can see a trend here I really liked the copper um, inlay this is just was from another manufacturer here of a darker material also copper um, looks pretty cool um, and lastly again copper this one I didn't I should have brought a flashlight this one is actually light sensitive. When the light hits it, it actually changes color. If you take a flashlight and shine it up to it, um, it, it, it kind of absorbs the color. So it looks, or it absorbs the light rather and changes color. So uh, looks really cool. Uh, I'll show you guys when I go to use this that uh, it's uh, pretty exciting stuff. You can see the copper sheets in it right there. So pretty cool. This is a Raffir uranium wasp is what they call it. Uh, and then I just picked up a, a big piece of Kieranite. Um, I've used this once in the past. Uh, it had bubbles in it and I had to return it to Jance, but this was from another supplier. So I figured I would give it another shot at some point. Um, if, you're not, if you're not sure what this is, this is a piece of Stingray skin. This is going to be I'm going to do an inlay in the sheath for the Bowie that's going to be Stingray skin inlaid in the, in the top of the sheath. And that's why I got some thin, this is four or five ounce leather uh, to do an overlay on the sheath. So uh, I might do that video coming up here. And I got this whole shoulder for 35 bucks, which was an amazing deal. I was really happy with that. Uh, this is actually folded in. So this is a pretty big piece of leather. Uh, for that price it was awesome so that's all the stuff that I got at the show and I'm excited to start to use uh, some of this material um, you know and you can see this is some some of it's some really high-end stuff so uh, it'll be going on some really special projects I uh, wanted to show you the knife that I'm working on now which is if you can see it this is a twist that I mentioned uh, in the last Triple T. Let's see if I can get it up here. So it's a, it's a, it's low layer, but a tight twist, and it's got almost like a zebra pattern to it, um, which is turning out really amazing. Um, I really like it. So I might match this because I think it would go really well. Um, this piece of mammoth with um with this I, I just i'm not sure if it's going to be too much too liney <laughs> so we'll see um if uh, if that's going to work out or if i want something a little less kind of in your face on the lines but uh, i think we'll see when when i do it so that uh, is an upcoming project uh, i'm also working on uh, the feather Damascus, um, probably a Bowie. So, uh, you'll see that video, um, come out after my vacation. This one you might see, um, while I'm on vacation. So I had a really good time at Blade, picked up a lot of cool stuff. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to using some of this. And for the new folks and for everyone, really, make sure you know that, um, there's a link to my Instagram. 
Uh, down in the description, along with the link to my Etsy store, will you see, uh, you'll see all kinds of knives that I have for sale. Uh, when I complete projects, they usually go up on Etsy. Uh, if you see something you like, hit me up on Instagram. If you want to do it privately, you'll save some money, I'll save some money. Uh, Etsy's kind of my storefront, but uh, I'm happy to sell them uh, on Instagram uh, through privately. Uh, as well, I have a lot of links to all of the tools that I use. Um, and as I get more tools and more more things, uh, I put Amazon links um, down in the description of every video. Uh, so you'll see the stuff that I use and you can go and buy it, help out the channel, because um, I get a little kickback at no cost to you just because you're using the links that I provide. So, uh, so please check out the description in all of the videos and, um, and check out the stuff that I use. Thanks folks for joining me on this Triple T. We'll see you on the next one.